I'm Evo Bluestein, and this is Dance Week at Buena Vista School. Come on in and see what we do. In. Again. One of the important parts of my program that I never, <laughs> when I started, I didn't realize this was going to be the case. I thought I'd be really, it was important to bring culture. What turned out to be maybe more important was teaching kids uh, to behave together, to how to get along together. The dances come from southeastern United States, sometimes white traditions in the Appalachians. Again. Face your corner. Do -si -do. Sometimes African American traditions from the Georgia Sea Islands. And sometimes it could be a French Canadian dance or a New England contra dance. Two hand turn. You're watching. Hop, left, right hands across. Sometimes we jump across the ocean to do an English country dance to show some of the sources of American dance. Back to back. My name is Heather Duncan. I'm the principal here at Buena Vista Elementary in Walnut Creek. Um, we've been bringing Evo here to Buena Vista for about 18 years. He is a tremendous contribution to our school. One of the things that I love about him is he's able to teach kids folk dancing in a way that we can't do in the classroom. Um, we do have visual and performing arts here at the school, but um, our program is just for vocal music, and he's able to bring kids into dance and music in a way that they're able to learn how to come together, boys and girls, dancing in just a few short days in ways that the kids would never be able to think that they could do. In four days, they are holding hands, dancing, coming together, loving this way that they do that. By Friday, they're sharing their um, learning with their parents, dancing in cultural ways, what we want to do is really capture for kids the ways that they learn. Some kids learn really well through movement, some kids learn really well auditorily, visually, and dance is a way that really captures for kids and brings in a way that they can move, they can hear music, and it gives them an opportunity to learn in a different way that they just wouldn't learn in a classroom where they sit in a chair and look at a board. This is a kind of accordion. Sometimes you see big piano accordions, and <clears throat> this is what we call a button accordion because it's just got one row of buttons on this side for the melody, and two buttons on this side for rhythm. And the kind of dance we're going to do right now is called a waltz. What I want you to do is keep time with your body like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. The lady has to do the opposite of what the gent does. I'm going to make a little box. One side together. If I go back with my right, she goes forward with her left. And then when you get really good at it, you don't have to stay in a little box. You can move around the floor. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Forward with your left, Jens. Step, side, together. Back with your right, Jens. Step, side, together. Step, side, together. Side, together. Let's see if you were right. Let's do it again. Do you remember that uh, old Betty Martin?
noise listen to this <laughs> but when you put it your teeth in a certain way your head becomes part of the instrument and makes the sound louder the way the strings on a guitar or violin are, are made louder by the body of the instrument well your head is going to be the body of the instrument and this becomes <laughs> a bigger sound and the coolest part is when you make your breath go in and out a little bit you give it rhythm. So this is kind of boring, listen. But now listen, because I'm going to breathe in and out. <laughs> Swing. That's not your right. Get around. Well, the first time they walk in, there is a certain amount of nervousness. So we're going to have to touch people and, you know, the whole word dance and the whole idea. After the first experience. It doesn't take long. It's all smooth sailing. I mean, one or two dances under the belts and it's like, oh my gosh, when can we do more? How can we do more? I want to do more. I tell them it's community based. This is, you know, we start from thinking about a time when there was no electricity going through wires into our homes. And for kids today, that's hard to, to imagine. No cars, phones, computers, video games. And these things come from a time when life was very different. Patient corner. Patient corner. Go see, go. The, the interesting thing is that something has not changed. We still need to connect with people, and uh, more so than ever because people can get isolated on their computers and if you get out to a dance you find that that is something that for some people is just the greatest thing that ever happened to them in their lives. And I thought it was a miracle because I, I like rocking about it. Uh, a way to like get to know people better 